tension. Hey. Go on, pull the digger, you bugger. Let's give it some weight. Oh, it's doing it, yes! What a beast! No mean feet. All right, the blade's not on the ground, but still. Oh, imminent crash. Oh, God, kill switch. So this is my little homemade four-wheel drive electric trolley. Um, and it's 24 volts. Got two tractor batteries underneath there. Um, and it's got these four motors for the four-wheel drive. It's got a, a motor per wheel um, with two motor controllers up and underneath there. I don't know if you can see that. Hidden in takeaway boxes. Oh yeah. For waterproof protection. Um, the only reason I've got two of those is um, it was cheaper to buy two to get the same ampage than it was to get one expensive one. Um, so one is for the front axle, one is for the rear axle. Um, and the motors, they are 24 volt, 280 watt motors. Um, I can't remember what the RPM is, um, but they're geared down uh, a fair bit on that jack shaft there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then go on to power the wheel with that sprocket, which is welded on there. Um, and the the front and back are pretty much identical, uh, apart from a couple of a couple of little spacing sort of thing. But um, yeah, the front axle here is just a piece of box, and then you've got a big boss here with a bolt that runs through it like a kingpin. Um, and then the actual spindle that runs through there is another bolt, uh, an M20 bolt, bolt here. Um, simply because I found some bearings that fitted on the M20 bolt uh, that also fitted in a piece of PTO tube here, a uh, tractor power takeoff tube, um, which welded onto these uh, wheels that I had here, which originally when I bought them with these tyres on had a, like a plastic type bearings in there. Um, so I thought, yeah, I was going to load it up with a load of weight sort of thing. So, yeah, just chuck these. I think they were like 60p a bearing sort of thing. So pretty cheap. Um, and that seems to have worked, uh, which also gave me an opportunity to weld the sprocket onto that tube as well when it was in there, um, which worked out quite well. Fairly close there. When the tyre squishes down there a little bit, it does just and just touch. So I think I'm just and just getting away with it. But yeah, as you can see, the motor is adjustable there. Um, so is a jack shaft back there, so it's all all sort of movable as it wears. Um, and then steering wise, they've just got a link, a link on behind there. I don't know if you can see that. Ignore that that bit there for a minute. Um, yeah, two rods tied into this middle one here. Pivot on that bolt there. Um, this rod moves up and down, which also houses the throttle here as I move that. Yeah. Just raring to go sort of thing. Oh, Christy, I'm going to crawl on myself. Um, but yeah, this had to exist here basically because um, I had two potentiometers and I couldn't electronically figure out how to join them together. So I thought, aha, I'll just mechanically join them. So I 3D printed this housing here, um, which has got one potentiometer here and then a flipped round, not a mirror image, but a, yeah, like a spun 180 design on the other side. Uh, and they, inside these round looking bits here, there is like a, a gear and they run on this, this is like a rack that runs through there. Um, and you just adjust these potentiometers slightly to tune it in. But um, yeah, they seem to have quite a wide band, so it seems to work fairly well sort of thing. You're either, you're either stopped or, or flat out sort of thing when you're trying to go somewhere. But yeah, then you've got your on off switch here, um, like to show it's on. Um, what else? Yeah, the handle can come off also if you want to leave it out sort of thing. Um, take these off and then no one can rob it because it is very heavy as it turns out with two tractor batteries, uh, a load of angle iron, uh, four motors and some wood and a load of bolts. But yeah, oh yeah, sides are just like three quarter ply just cut out with these these bits of angle cut on the ends there so they don't spike into you while you're towing it along. Um, little coach bolts through there, tying it all together, stained up the wood. Um, the one bit I haven't done yet is make some little latches to tie the corners in there. Because um, me and my mate, me and my mate made this for a, a festival, a particular festival. Um, 
where the campsite was quite far from where we parked so yeah we thought enough of carrying bags we're gonna make a contraption so we yeah made it and then we were late as per usual making it and ended up making it till like seven in the morning so yeah we worked all night and that was the final cut corner at the end of the day <laughs> but everything else turned out fairly well um nothing nothing actually broke on the day um i think we used it all weekend uh towed gear back from the forwards uh, and it was fine and then put it in the car got it back home um, and then went to drive it in on my driveway uh, and a chain fell off and it blew a fuse so um, it was on our side let's say it was good um, but yeah what else can I say about it yeah it hinges on the side there oh yeah these um, these sides actually fold down uh, to make a nice little table <sighs> So we've got a nice little table. We sort of yeah set it up under a gazebo when we got there. But yeah, that was quite handy. Carry all your gear in it. Then had a kitchen on it. Um, rear axle, pretty much the same as the front, but doesn't steer obviously. Um, same assembly there, with the bolt welded straight onto the piece of box as the axle. We've actually got a pan hard rod design here. Same on the front, but you can see it on all the mess. But um, that ties into the chassis here. Um, and it's just a piece of bar with some pieces of tube that fit over an M12 bolt there. So uh, there's not a great deal of play there, articulation, but there isn't a great deal of travel in these shocks, shall we say. Um, so it didn't seem to matter too much. Um, and then up, up front there, or in the middle, I don't know if you can see that, there is some ball joints. I think they came off a car at some point and they tie into the middle. So they hold the front of the axle, uh, the front of the rear axle here, and the same on the front axle. Um, and the pan hard rod stops it swaying around. And that seemed to work, that seemed to be quite reliable. Um, no no overheating problems with the motors. Um, like I said, it was running for hours sort of thing, it seemed to, seemed to work alright. I mean we weren't flat out, but uh, there were times where we were flat out. Um, and yeah, most importantly, it didn't die the whole time. We did bring a, a solar charger with us. Um, to sort of trickle charge uh, once we finish but yeah the whole stint of coming in and out it seemed to work fine so um, yeah if you're planning on making something like this and you're thinking you know how far will it go how powerful is it uh, this proves to be quite a uh, powerful setup um, as you've seen but uh, yeah anyway uh, I'm gonna try and find some off-roading if I can over there and we'll get some cool little shots um, but yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, uh, I broke that. That's what that is. Where well, you're thinking, why is he doing it like that? That was like a T-piece there. Um, but what happened was, I was driving down a hill at the festival and I was talking to some uh, women walking along next to me. Um, and I hadn't noticed basically a, a crowd of people uh, forming in front of me and we're going down this hill and suddenly the the, the two women were, were sort of behind me and I was like oh oh what's going on and I looked in front of me and there was this crowd coming up and I thought oh bugger uh, no brakes uh, nothing to do full of gear in the back there so I jumped out uh, under there like an idiot and yeah ran myself over and broke that off um, but it still works. So it was just my dignity that was bruised. But anyway, on to the off-roading. Zoom. Oh yeah, and because it's all uh, electronically connected, uh, it's essentially got limited slip diff uh, all the way around. So yeah, check this out. Spinny, 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 spinny faster. Off we go.
So there you go guys, um, if you've got any questions about it, just chuck them in the comments uh, and I'll try and get back to you sort of, as soon as I can sort of thing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe and I'll yeah, catch you later.